All right, just about to go uh, walking with a mate of mine. I uh, haven't been out for a little while. Uh, it's raining. Uh, so I'm gonna try out some new waterproof gloves I bought in Decathlon and see how they perform today. Uh, also today, I'm gonna try and use my new uh, Life Venture 20 liter waterproof dry sack. It's got a roll top. Uh, great thing about this bag is that it packs away right down to about the size of an apple when you're not using it. So. Uh, can double as a dry bag as well, so multi-use. Uh, let's see if that performs today in the rain. So just come back from a uh, short hike. I'm just from a local area. Um, started off being a very uh, overcast and rainy morning. Uh, it's turned out to be a glorious afternoon. It's only out for a couple of hours. Uh, but the reason I went out was um, to try out this uh, Life Venture waterproof backpackable backpack. Um, so this is something I got as a gift a couple of, year, uh, couple of months ago and um, haven't actually used it until today. I want to give it a try because like all my bits of gear, I like to have the multifunctional. So what I'm thinking is that this is a full-on backpack with uh, shoulder straps, handle, roll top with closure, shock cord on the outside and two uh, reasonably decent sized pockets uh, on there. So this is a fully functional day pack, um, but because it's so light and small, I was gonna use it also as a, just a roll top dry bag. Um, use it to store perhaps my uh, sleep or spare clothes on a multi-day hike, uh, but also then use it as a day bag if needed. Um, looking at the manufacturer's weight, it should be about 150 grams. I haven't actually put it on scales yet, um, but weighing my equivalent 25 litre dry bag that it would replace, uh, or it uh, re would be replacing, uh, that came in at just over 90 grams, this 150 grams. So it is more weight, but it also is more functional. In terms of uh, what I've managed to get in here today, so I just went for a short, short day hike. Um, so I've got in here, down jacket, full set of wallproofs, um, full set of layering of gloves, which I'll do in another video, um, woolly hat, as I said, it was quite cold and grey this morning when I left. Uh, I've got half a litre of water, because uh, it's COVID times, I've also got in here hand gel, gloves, wipes, a couple of snack bars. Um, so you know, I've got a reasonable amount of stuff in there. What you'd expect to get in a 20 litre, this is 22 rated litres. Um, with the roll top, it's probably closer to 18 to 20, once you've rolled that down. Um, but I got in there everything I needed to get in there for my little hike, uh, more than enough in fact. And uh, I've been quite impressed with the side pockets, they're bigger than I thought they were. You can definitely get a one litre bottle in there, uh, no problem at all. Um, and there's one on each side. It's got reflective details on here, so you can be seen at night. It, um, the colour's a bit dull grey, but uh, fully functional, nothing wrong with that. Built-in grab handle here in the harness is quite nice. Uh, as you can see, the straps are uh, pretty much non-existent in terms of padding, but uh, they were surprisingly okay. They are fully adjustable in length, and there is even a um, hip belt, not padded. It's more of a strap to stop it wobbling around if you're running or you know descending on a rough ground. Um, you're not going to take any weight on that. It is all going to go through the shoulders. In terms of this, the harness, uh, it wasn't bad. Um, is it comfortable? Not especially. Is it uncomfortable? Not especially. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, the, the weight of this, with everything in that I've got today, is about 2.2 kilos. Um, that load was perfectly respectable for the straps. They weren't uncomfortable. I was aware I was wearing the pack though. It wasn't super comfortable. Uh, I couldn't forget it was on. Um, but equally, it wasn't uncomfortable. I've got no uh, chafing, I've got no permanent marks uh, from having worn it for uh, two and a half hours uh, with 2.2 kilos in it. So overall, uh, I wouldn't say it was uncomfortable. The thing that I missed the most is a sternum strap. Uh, I really like sternum straps on my bags and I just felt that the straps went a little bit wide without one. But that's just me. Uh, it obviously saves a lot of weight by not having one. So. Overall, uh, pretty impressed with my Life Venture uh, waterproof packable backpack. Is it waterproof? I don't know. I was hoping to get uh, some rain on it today because uh, it was raining this morning when I left, but by the time I got to where I was going, it had stopped um, and the rain didn't come back, unfortunately. So that's gonna have to live for another day, but it is Cordura. It is uh, 
fully branded. Um, it seems to be well constructed. Um, if we have a quick look inside. So the roll top is okay. The material in the top of the roll top is pretty flimsy, again, to keep the weight down, but it is probably going to be sufficient if you roll it more than twice. One roll isn't going to keep it waterproof. Um, but as you can see, it does have tape seams. Um, so this is, or should be, completely waterproof, uh, bearing any uh, holes I managed to put in it uh, by wearing it. So there you have a quick introduction to the Life Venture waterproof packable backpack. Uh, currently retails at about £35, but I'm sure I've seen it on sale for less than that, uh, somewhere in the high 20s. Um, so that could well be replacing one of my dry bags in my normal multi-day kit.